the 100th release of Chrome is here. And 100 releases in 14 years is quite a big milestone. And Chrome 100 is not just about the new flatter icon, no. Chrome 100 brings some interesting new features and some important changes. In fact, Chrome 100 brings a fan favorite feature that Google had removed in Chrome back in 2019. Also, there's a really cool Easter egg. Now, I'm going to divide this video into three sections. Chrome 100 on desktop, Chrome 100 on phones, and Chrome OS 100. So let's start with Chrome 100 on desktops. First of all, let me show you the Easter egg for this milestone release. So in Chrome 100, you can open up the inspect page on any website, then hit this menu button and click on show console draw. Here, just go to the what's new tab here, and now you can click anywhere and it shows you this really cool sort of confetti with the 100 emoji and the party popper emoji. Yeah, this is fun. Coming to Chrome 100 features on the desktop, first of all, there's a brand new download UI. I mean, right now when you download something on Chrome, you get it here on this bottom bar. But in Chrome 100, you get this dedicated downloads button next to the extensions, kind of like in Edge and Safari. And it shows you all the downloads. And when you download a new file, it shows you the progress like this on the icon. It's still a work in progress because you have to enable it via this Chrome flag. And along with this, you still get the bar on the bottom showing you the downloads. But yeah, this is a good feature. Now remember that fan favorite feature I talked about that Google had removed back in the day? Well, I was talking about one click tap muting and it's back in Chrome 100, thankfully, because I know a lot of people who switch to Edge and Safari because of this. See, right now, when you want to mute a tab, you have to right click on it and then hit mute. Chrome 100 lets you click on the speaker icon on the tab to quickly mute and unmute tab like this. It's actually useful and it's strange why Google had to move this in the first place, especially because Chromium based browsers like Edge have this feature. But yeah, I'm glad that Chrome 100 brings this back. One thing to note, if you're using Chrome 100 and this isn't working for you, you can enable it with this Chrome flag. Hit like if you really want this feature back in Chrome. Moving on, Google recently replaced the search Google for image option with search in Google Lens. And this is not something a lot of people are happy about because right now, if you want to do a reverse image search in Google, you either have to manually do so or you can search in Google Lens and then click here to do it. Unnecessary step really. The great news is you can bring back the old search Google for image option. Just go to Chrome flags and disable this lens flag. After this, right click on an image and you will see the good old search Google for image option. You can click on it and do a reverse search really quickly. Anyway, one important thing to note with Chrome 100 is that it can break some of the websites that you use. See, a lot of websites are not ready to read the triple digit version number of Chrome and that may result in some websites recognizing this as an older browser. For example, here I am opening up the ISRO website and you can see that this website considers this as an older browser. And this is something that might happen on other government websites too, because they take longer to update. So if you're facing these issues too, Chrome 100 has a fix for it. There is this flag called force major to minor, which will show Chrome's version number is 99, so that all websites play well with this new update. As you can see, the ISRO website is working fine now after this fix. So Chrome 100 on phones, first of all, it removes the light mode, aka the data saver feature, because according to Google, Chrome has already become very data efficient. Now, I would have preferred this feature to be still here because a lot of times, especially in India, you're stuck with slow internet and that's where light mode comes in handy. But yeah, it's gone for now. Anyway, Chrome 100 on Android now brings you this pop-up when you hit the close all tabs button. You can hit cancel if you've hit the close all tabs button accidentally, or you can go ahead and close all the tabs. If you don't see this pop-up yet, you can enable this via Chrome flag. Chrome 100 on iPhones also brings a new setting. You can now set your default side view to mobile or desktop. Now, this option is not present by default. You'll have to enable this Chrome flag. So Chrome 100 has also arrived in Chromebooks. And apart from the whole Chrome 100 features that I just talked about, Chrome OS 100 brings some specific Chrome OS features. So remember how Windows 11 brought the start menu from the corner to the center? Well, Google is kind of countering that by bringing the Chrome OS launcher from the center to the corner. So this is the new Chrome OS launcher and we saw this in Chrome OS Flex and now it's here in Chromebooks and I really like it because the Chrome OS launcher in the center used to cover up almost all of the screen. This launcher is more minimal and it's also better. It lets you move apps around like this. You can sort apps by name or color. The search is better too. It'll bring you a bigger preview, let you search for shortcuts, search between tabs and more. Now some of these new search options are still coming soon though. Chrome OS 100 also improves voice typing aka dictation. You can now edit any text with your voice. So here I am typing in the keep app and I can say delete to delete the previous character. I can say select all to, you know, select all. I can even say new line to move to, you know, a new line. I can also move to the previous character or the next character. I can also copy selected text and then paste it all via voice. So yeah, this is pretty good. 
Next up, the Chrome OS camera app now lets you create GIFs. In the video mode, there's this GIF option which works as you'd expect. You can create a 5 second GIF and share it directly from here or you can save it. YouTube in Chrome OS now supports offline playback. In the web app, downloads are only supported for premium users. But in the YouTube Android app, everyone can download videos for offline playback. Now, apart from all this, Chrome 100 brings performance improvements, a lot of bug fixes and a lot of developer oriented features. But the features I talked about are the features that most of us will be using. So comment below your favorite new Chrome 100 feature. And yeah, give this video a like, make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Yeah, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Apps can access your data even if you uninstall them. Let me show you.